Hello beautiful souls so till now we have done game theory that is uh, muscle exercise and then uh, second task was second task was narrative therapy so all the clouds of opinions that surrounds us we cleared all all of them then third was the cognitive behavioral therapy we dealt with the emotional quotient uh, of us and today it's fourth task we are going to deal with intelligent quotient and that is growth mindset so now we have cleared up all our uh, baggages we have stacked everything uh, in its place we have done lot of work now it's time to create a growth mindset let's start walking towards the path of success so for the fourth task uh, we'll be uh, dealing with transaction analysis i hope uh, you have studied about it and uh, it deals with parent child and adult in us so but before we talk about all that let's start with some brain teasers Research has shown that a dexterous brain makes for happier healthier people in general doing some type of mental exercise in the form of brain teasers or word and number games can boost overall brain activity it also increases your memory power the brain is neuroplastic meaning it has the ability to shift and change over time many people believe our brains age as we do growing less powerful less capable less competent over time what most don't realize is however is that you have the ability to manipulate your brain the way a sculptor molds a clay so the benefits of brain teasers are boost overall brain activity increase your memory power reduce the risk and slow the decline of dementia improve memory and brain processing speed reduce boredom improve concentration it brings you back to the now whenever you play a game whenever you do a brain teaser or you solve a puzzle your mind is in the now you are in the now so that this really helps you 10 coins form a triangle pointing up move only 3 coins to make the triangle point down So how would you do it? A plastic ball and a bat cost rupees 1.10 paise. Rupee 1 and 10 paise. The bat cost rupees rupee 1 more than the ball. How much does the ball cost? It should be RE. I had 6x, broke 2, cooked 2, ate 2. How many do I have left? In which direction is this bus moving towards the left or towards the right So only one out of seven will get this right So take out your pen and paper and write all the answers and let's move later towards the answers So what is transaction transactional analysis it is a psychoanalytic theory you must be knowing it and method of therapy wherein social transactions are analyzed to determine the ego state of the communicator whether parent like child like or adult like as a basis for understanding behavior but uh, here for growth mindset we will just strengthen the adult state and what whatever exercise or uh, the task that we are going to do will strengthen our adult state we are looking into only that part of uh, ta we are looking into that is developing our intelligent quotient so it has been categorized as parent adult and child whatever memories whatever we have the thinking process everything it is categorized in three categories 
and parent is where all the memories that is taught by our parents is stored parent doesn't mean just the parents it is whoever you came across between uh, till 5 years of age um, like you it could be grandfather teachers um, any elderly person who's who's taught you authoritarian position who have taught you anything that is stored in parent uh, state and in child whatever emotions you felt uh, that is stored in the child state and adult is the thinking state and this is what can be it is malleable and it can be changed according to our needs so we are going to strengthen the adult whatever may be there in parent or child we will ignore that and we will try to strengthen our adult state so that is what we are trying to do here so how do we strengthen the adult state so we can decontaminate the adult from parent prejudices deconfusing the child ego state and nourishing the integrating adult so this um, in previous tasks we have done the decontaminating the adult from parent prejudices and we have also addressed deconfusing the child ego state so now it's turn for us to nourish the integrating adult and that we will do by growth mindset so what is growth mindset in a growth mindset people believe that their most basic abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work brains and talent are just the starting point so this view creates a love of learning and a resilience that is essential for great accomplishment so i will not go into fixed mindset but just to give you a brief um, if somebody has a fixed mindset they give up easily failure is the limit of their abilities their intelligence is static they avoid challenges they stick to what they know feedback and criticism is personal to them they will never improve they ne- uh, i am either good at it or i am not this is uh, the, uh, the the way that approach things okay but what is growth mindset i like to try new things i can learn to do what i want failures offer opportunity and growth and my intelligence can be developed i embrace the challenges i learn from feedback this is very very important i learn from feedback i keep trying and never give up i'm inspired by others people's success my mistake helps me grow the view you adopt for yourself profound, profoundly affects the way you lead your life it can determine whether you become the person you want to be and whether you accomplish the things you value This growth mindset is based on the belief that your basic qualities are things you can cultivate through your efforts although people may differ in any which way in their initial talents aptitudes interests or temperaments everyone can change and grow through application and experience So what is the hallmark of growth mindset the passion for stretching yourself and sticking to it even or especially when it's not going well is the hallmark of the growth mindset this is a mindset that allows people to thrive during some of the most challenging times in their lives so i would like you to do this exercise wherein you self um, self analyze yourself self introspect yourself whether you have a growth mindset or not doesn't matter you do this exercise and let's see so the first thing you will write is uh, what you are really good at like i'm really good at this 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 right now second thing you would write is i have little trouble with maybe at some place uh, some skills you might not have or you might be good at but not the best so i have little trouble with 1 2 3 for blah 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 for now so whatever you are not good at is the third thing you will write about i can't dash dash 1 2 3 blah 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 yet you're not good at it yet but you can learn it so what you're not good at it 
so those things you can write here the fourth is you will write but if i suppose you are not good at playing guitar and you want to learn guitar so but if i learn guitar i will be good at finally you will take your life journal book and you will write what will you do in the next 24 hours next week next month next year and the coming decade okay so now we have learned all this let's get to the answers of the puzzles or the teasers brain teasers and let's see have how much you have scored